Hey guys, what's up? And today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Material Detector mod for Minecraft 1.7.9. Now, basically what this mod does is allows you to basically, it's basically like x-ray, so you can, uh, there's a mini map, and you can basically see where diamonds, or whatever you choose, um, are. So basically, how to install it, uh, basically you want to go to the description, and there should be two links under downloads, you want to click on both. One will take one to, one will take you to here. And the other two, WinRAR, basically on the WinRAR one, you just want to install that program. So just select, you know, the one what's right for you and then just install that. And uh, once you've done that, uh, basically that program allows you to open a file. So once you've got that, you want to go to this link and you basically want to look for version 3.3 for Minecraft 1.7.9. You want to click version 3.3 and that'll take you to AdFly. You basically want to wait five seconds. Don't worry about anything down here. That's if an ad pops up. Uh, so, skip ad. Once you've done that, it should download straight away. Now, it might come up with a message. Uh, just press keep. And uh, once you've done that, basically, you want to locate your download. So, for Google Chrome, it's just here. And you basically just want to get that file and drag it to the desktop. Now, uh, once you've done that, you can close this. And uh, don't worry if it doesn't look like this, uh, we're going to do that later. So, now what we want to do is press the Windows key and R, and then it'll bring up this run thing. Basically, you want to make sure it's empty, and type in percentage app data percentage, and press OK. This will basically just bring you to your roaming folder. Then you want to go to your .minecraft, which is basically where all your Minecraft files are stored. So, go into that, then you want to go to the versions folder, and uh, basically you should have one folder in here, or you might have more, but as long as one says 1.7.9, you're good. Um, if you don't have a folder called this, basically you want to go to Minecraft and run the latest version. And uh, once you've done that, uh, you should have a folder called 1.7.9. So, once you've done that, you basically want to right click on it, copy, right click, paste, and you want to right click on the new folder, rename, and you want to name this uh, whatever you want. But uh, for simple purposes, I'm just going to name it DT for like detector. So that doesn't matter. Um, uh, you want to remember what you called that. Um, so go into that and uh, you can delete this. And basically, you'll be left with two folders. You want to highlight them both, right click, rename, and uh, you want to rename them to what you named this folder. So DT, uh, make sure it's exactly the same. No capitals. So for example, if I did that it won't work make sure it's exactly the same so det no caps then you want to go into this json file uh, so just right click on it open with choose default program more options and you basically want to look for a program what can read and edit text so you could use word uh, you know doesn't matter I'm just gonna use notepad just because it's simple so just click notepad and basically it's going to open all this code. Basically, uh, it might look a bit complicated. All you have to do is look for 1.7.9, should be at the beginning. So just highlight 1.7.9, you want to delete it, and you want to replace it with what you named these. So DET, again, make sure it's exactly the same, uh, caps lock and everything. Then you want to go File, Save, and you can exit that. Okay, so now we basically made the version which is the mod, which is going to be the mods version. So basically, we want to get this WinRAR file, and uh, you want to right click on it, open with choose default program, more options, and you want to find WinRAR. So that's the program uh, you should have downloaded uh, at the beginning, or you might already have it, but you basically want to click that, and it should open in WinRAR. So once you've got that, uh, you want to do the exact same for detector. So right click, open with choose default program, more options, and find WinRAR. So there we go. So, basically now you have the mods files on this side and the Minecraft files on this side. So basically in the Minecraft files you just want to right click on meta-inf, so look for that, delete, and you want to click yes, and uh, you can actually close this, so, yep. Then basically you want to highlight any file in the mods files, so any file and press Control A. This will highlight them all, and then you simply want to drag them into your micro file files. So just let go, you should get that plus symbol. Then you want to press OK, and uh, you are basically done. So you've installed the mod, now all you have to do is add it to Minecraft. So you can close all this, 
So all we did is made a new version, which is going to be the mods version, and then we just added the mods files into your Minecraft files. So now what we want to do is open Minecraft. Now um, here you can either choose to have two profiles, one with the mod and one just normal Minecraft, or you can have one profile which is the mod. So I prefer to have two profiles so you can easily switch from the mod to the no mod. So uh, to do that, oh well, if you were going to have it on one profile, simply press edit. Then uh, where it says use version, just click that arrow and uh, look for release DT or whatever you named that folder. So yeah, you just click that and then press save. Um, but what I'm going to do is make a new profile. I do recommend doing this. So new profile, you can name it whatever you want. D or detect, I don't know. Uh, where And then the, you just do the same thing. So use version release DT or whatever you name the folder. Click that, save profile. So now you should have two profiles, uh, one which just runs the normal Minecraft and then another which runs the mod. Um, so yeah, that's basically done. Then you just press play and I'll just show you it does work. Uh, you can also delete that. Okay, um, now basically uh, you can just create a world. I think this does work on multiplayer. Uh, I've never tried it though. Okay, so once you're in, um, it should you should see it on the right. Um, that's basically just a detector. I'm lagging a bit, but uh, basically it'll show you where all the diamonds are and iron. That's what it's set to as default. Um, but if we press the V, uh, this basically brings up a GUI, which is just the settings. So you can edit this how you want. But basically, the main thing is here is the materials. So you can add materials. Uh, this is basically just what it shows on my list. So right now we have diamonds and iron. So if I was to turn both of these off, as you can see, uh, it's basically got nothing on it. Um, so yeah, you know, you can add different things. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. So uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have any questions or it didn't work, leave a comment and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. And yeah, I'll see you all later.